you also had Gary here earlier today talking about all the community efforts that were going on and, and the businesses that were helping. And Mr. Reardon, I want to thank you for your work on this project and providing this information to us. I also want to acknowledge uh, Bruce Rosari, the Director of Transit. Uh, he's done a tremendous amount of work on this project and doesn't get the credit I think that he deserves. But I, feel one, I still feel it's important that we move forward with this legislation. I think the biggest problem is the information not getting out to the public. Uh, we will be having the summit, which I think is important, that the community is involved in. And then we can discuss these numbers also with the community. I think that there are still some concerns uh, regarding the uh, letter of no prejudice for $50 million. And where is the other money going to come from? I think that you've explained that tonight. But I think that still needs to be discussed by the public and needs to be open. Because if that does not happen, we do not get the additional $19 million. There needs to be a contingency plan in place where the public will not have to, where we don't cut back on this project in any way. I mean, we said we're going to spend $119 million on this project. Uh, the price is fixed with Bradbury and Sam. I think it's important that there will not be increases unless we make some recommendations that cause uh, an increase in, in some of the uh, this project and put in additional costs. I think the public needs to be aware of that also. I mean, if, they, if there's some additional left-hand turning lanes that can be put into the project, if the, you know, the congressional delegation uh, works with the FTA and they say that this can be done without an environmental impact analysis, I think that'll be fine and we can look at better ways to accommodate the business community and allow additional left-hand turns. I think we just need to keep this dialogue open and just make sure that we communicate very closely with the public. I'm not sure what happened with the uh, situation with Knob Hill and you know, their concerns regarding the, the bus stops and the, or the stops and the design. Uh, I'm not sure why there was that, not that additional communication with them because they brought the recommendation forth. You know, that probably should have been discussed more in depth uh, with your office and with your staff. But again, I uh, will urge you to support this resolution. <coughs> well, the other questions or discussion on the resolution? Councilor Benton. Yeah, just quickly with